On this release, it is a lighter week, so I'm gonna have to wake y'all up. Um, no, honestly, catch some sleep, Kings. You really deserve it, too. It's been a long six weeks, however many weeks. It's been a really fun start to the season. We were kind of due a lighter week, so we're still gonna talk about it. Maybe try to find some resell in this drop list. Let me know if you're gonna go for anything. What you think of this week's Duck Down collab? And by the way, the FTP Live Cop is almost complete. Um, I was working on it this weekend. I should have it done by this Friday, so I'm sorry for the wait for y'all. I still haven't gotten an order shipped, bro. Like, let me know if anyone's gotten their stuff shipped out. Let's get in this drop today, though. I hope you all enjoy. So first things first, I always got to mention to y'all, if you want to join my private cook group browser, feel free to hit us up on Instagram. If you want to join, you can get a free seven day trial or you can just join us on the website. I do a write up every week of my best items to go for alongside many other services, low key flips, monitors, uh, auto checkout services, anything you need to make money online, we got it. And I keep on forgetting, if you guys want to hit up my personal Instagram at Boone to join my free discord, you can also do that as well. Just DM me, follow me, you know, all that good stuff. Let's get into this week though. So duck down music. We're gonna start it off with this collab since it is kind of the focal point of the week. And I love Duck Down Music, dude. This is probably one of my favorite labels. I've been following them since their inception before I was born. Um, I'm kidding. I This is one of those collaborations. I really had no idea about this record label. Of course, I did my due diligence as the good YouTuber I am. To act like I knew something about this company, but I really don't. Um, I do enjoy when Supreme puts me on new things like this. So it is a New York based record label. They do house KRS One, which I thought was interesting. Probably the biggest name of all the people that they signed but they also signed blue scholars which if you're from seattle man that's definitely a name that rings a bell if you don't know who i'm talking about you are just not from seattle because it's probably one of the bigger seattle rap groups i was definitely intrigued when i saw they were on this list i did not expect them to be signed to a new york label so while i was actually editing this video i looked up this label on my soundcloud likes just to see if anything would pop up and it turns out they actually had sean p signed to them as well this is an artist that passed away a couple years ago that i actually liked a lot and i had no idea he was signed to them but our RIP to him. But uh, definitely a fun little logo here and everything. Kind of more old head record labels. So that's probably why a lot of us Yeet listening, Ken Carson, Opium fans don't really know about it. Every person born in the 90s just cringed at that sentence. I'm sorry. But they're giving us a decent collaboration. I was actually pretty impressed with the designs coming out of it. Now we're going to start it off with this t-shirt that I think is the coolest design by far. And to the stage album by the Black Moon Rap Group. Now I had never heard of this group before. I did listen to this album or at least a lot of the songs on it. And I was actually pretty impressed. It kind of sounded to me somewhat like a Wu-Tang sound. I mean, it's obviously like a New York group, so I feel like that makes sense. I was somebody growing up that actually way preferred East Coast rap compared to West Coast rap, so I was kind of surprised I'd never heard of them because they actually had a pretty dope sound. My favorite song off this album was Who Got The Props. The sample on this was fire. Just a lot of their beats and shit. The samples are really nice, so I actually was pleasantly surprised. I might even listen to this group a little bit more. And that's the type of stuff where I love when Supreme puts me on the new things. I just had no idea about. Um, we actually have a pretty solid solid colorway lineup as well. We got a nice olive, we got a purple. This like rusty orange they've been using this season, I really enjoy. But obviously at the end of the day, the black is gonna be the best choice here. I actually do think this could end up being one of those items that ages pretty nicely. The Supreme hit on the backside with the Buckham down, super clean. On the green color, it's actually really nice. I might even be grabbing one of these for the personal, even though I don't know the group, like obviously I'm a fake ass fan, but I actually like want to listen to this album a little bit more. I was enjoying it when I listened through and I think they're actually giving us a pretty hard t-shirt. Now I'm guessing it's going to be like 48 or 54, hopefully 48. I do think this could be one of those obscure shirts that actually ages very nicely. Just about every Supreme New York rap group collab we have seen has aged very well over time. So I think this will follow. It's going to take it a couple months, but not a bad cop, especially in double XL, XL sizes. Black, green, purple are my three favorite colors. I really think black and the green are the two best here. Next up, we have another rap t-shirt in this collaboration from another artist I had never heard of before. So this is The Shining. Uh, the album is Smith & Wesson. And again, I listened through it a little bit and I actually, I was pleasantly surprised, man. I mean, as I already said, I do enjoy New York hip hop sound. My favorite song off of this project was Hallucination. The beat, again, man, like this super smooth beat, kind of like hypnotizing in a weird way. It had like a Martian sound to it 
almost while being pretty calm. Um, I really enjoyed this project though. I do think I preferred the Enter the Stage album a little bit more, but this one wasn't bad either. Also have pretty cool cover art for this one. I don't like the backside hit quite as much as the Enter the Stage T, but um, I think both of these shirts are actually pretty cool. Pretty like different, man. We haven't gotten a rap collab with Supreme from a New York group in a little bit now. My favorite is always going to be the Liquid Swords. Like I still own one of those shirts. Probably one of my favorite cover arts of all time for an album, but um, I think both of these have a chance of actually aging pretty nicely. I do think Enter the Stage is the better of the two, but um, I don't know if you really go wrong. If you're down to hold a shirt for a couple months, this definitely meets the criteria of being a more so obscure collab. You can see sales of like 70 to 80 bucks. Double XL or XL, like black color, maybe even up to 90 or 100 if you hold it long enough. So definitely some potential with these. The rest of the collaboration though, I did find it be a little bit boring. It was more so what I was expecting. To have a record label logo hoodie, which I don't know, it's, it's whatever to me. If you actually are a huge fan of this label, maybe you go pick one up, but definitely not gonna have profit. The beanie even, like, I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling the beanie on this one too much. I just, that ARC logo, just never gonna be a fan of it. It's not the worst, but I think there is a better beanie this week, and I'd rather spend my money on one of the tees than this beanie. So that does it for this collab. Actually, pretty cool one. I'm always excited to learn some new stuff, and they actually put me on to some cool artists here. It was a fun thing to research and just kind of get into, but let's look at the rest of this week, because we do have a bunch of other stuff releasing, and we're gonna start off with the air freshener. That's how you know this week is so fucking dead. That's the most upvoted item of the week. Um, they're probably gonna be hopefully like $12 or some bullshit. I wish you could get a set of two. I don't know if you can. I feel like they're gonna hoe us, make you buy one. Um, I'm gonna buy one because I'm a piece of shit, you know, fuck it, like, why not? I, it's my job to buy this bullshit. But I have to say, man, the black colorway they fumbled. This should have been the purple on black box logo T. Like, what are we doing, bro? That's one of the cooler, like, clean box logos, in my opinion. I'm just disappointed they're both just red on black, red on white box logos. Not really gonna have profit, just a fun little throw it in your cart, because why the fuck not? Also, I almost forgot to mention, we do have Supreme Vans and Swarovski. Uh, it's gonna be trash. Like, I just know for a fact this shit is gonna be garbage. I don't want Swarovski crystals on my shoes. I would actually be shocked if they like made a van sneaker that's actually clean with this concept so i already know i'm not gonna like it also the gumball machines delayed i wasn't gonna buy it anyway so next up the boker glow in the dark keychain knives these are these are something man definitely a bigger blade than what we've been receiving recently with supreme knives um the glow in the dark one without question to me is the better choice here of the two uh, i actually think it's cool that they brought in a glow in the dark knife don't expect much out of it profit wise you do have to hold on to the knives for a while and at this point they do so many of them that it takes them way too long to go up in price so it's kind of skippable to be honest with y'all um i would multi-cart one maybe if you want to hold it a few months sell it for around 70 bucks it should be 48 retail let's move on to this is going to be a weird one but i actually think this could be one of the better pickups of the week and that's going to be the rib beanies now you guys have not heard me hype up a beanie all season long but i actually see some potential in this one black or orange right orange beanies bro it is a dead week folks like i'm really hyping this shit up no seriously we all know i think that orange beanies are kind of staple beanie color like ftp recently did some reflective beanies i have an absolute entire brick of them like just a shitload of them and the orange of the group is the one doing by far the best and if you look at a lot of just supreme orange beanies they actually can age very nicely i have faith in this orange beanie man so i actually am going to be picking one up they don't really do a lot of rib beanies in this style like this something inside of me just thinks this beanie is actually going to age well especially if it's like 38 40 i wouldn't be surprised to see sales of it around 70 or so you will have to hold it for like one or two months but i don't know black or orange on this one i actually have some faith in so i'm at least going to be getting the orange one if you're doing a multi-cart this week i actually recommend it it's a cheap hold and they don't do a lot of just clean wearable orange beanies like this i just really have a feeling with this one man so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there i'm calling it out i'm gonna even buy one myself just to put my money where my mouth is but next i want to talk about what might be the most intriguing item of the week and that's going to be the flannel reversible puffer jacket now this flannel side is fugly as hell to me to be real with y'all um i don't really like any of the colors of it i don't love the logo too much and i was honestly gonna write this one off until i seen that word reversible and i'm, I'm like wait let's take a look at the other side and oh oh Oh, okay thing cleans up kind of nice uh, that brown color is my personal favorite the black or brown I think are the two best options here uh, actually a really nice reverse side clean little box logo I really enjoy the paneling on this one man and honestly puffer jackets from Supreme can perform very well especially if you hold them into colder months I see a chance on this one guys I really think brown is my favorite choice here just because they really don't do brown puffers like at all I can't even think of the last clean simple 
brown puffer supreme is done and a lot of the brown hoodies actually age very nicely so this is one of the riskier cops of the week but i actually see some potential on it man so i don't know if i'm gonna be buying one because i just dropped so much money on ftp which you will be seeing soon let me know if you guys are also digging this reverse side i know it's pretty simple but sometimes that's a good thing especially for the puffers you really don't want a chaotic design on them so really good potential if it's like 328 298 whew, i might just have to get one but if it's more expensive like 348 368 then i might just be passing small box hooded sweatshirt at this point in my life covering supreme for like what five years or something like that i've probably spent a solid two hours talking about small box items and they never fucking resell and i don't give a fuck so we're just gonna keep moving i'm so sick of talking about small box items including the sweatpants i don't give a fuck so next up cargo denim overalls now usually i do like to call out these overalls as a good resale item they did those windstopper ones recently that sold out so quickly actually resold very well but this one, I'm a little skeptical. These do require some kind of Supreme branding to justify people paying like, what are they, 198, 228, usually like 198. And all these ones have is a little pocket um, Old English hit, similar to the jean shorts they did recently. Ah, these ones are gonna be a skip to me. If they just had a simple little bang Supreme logo right here, I think it would be a cop because they're a clean, good colorway set. I actually really like the camo. The camo is almost the one I think has a chance just because it's more unique from the other overalls they've done recently um, but I'm gonna be skipping on all of these uh, I just I, I don't know man I'd rather risk it with the puffer than these to be honest the card logo cam cap these look so ugly to me that little like snakeskin kind of looking color isn't bad but the logo just looks so bad so I'm gonna be skipping those loaded short sleeve tops really not feeling these too much kind of corny in my opinion snap work shirt pretty clean for like the personal or something the denim one's not bad but these are gonna be a skip in my opinion supreme shot leather trench coat I've been saying shot wrong for years at this point calling it scott i know i'm a stupid ass little bitch i know uh this is gonna be a skip i'm bummed they're doing a leather trench coat i wish we just got like a normal trench coat could have been a lot cooler but leather's like i don't know bro nice sweater stussy looking ass want to be uh no, i'm just playing supreme's done dice stuff for a while so i'm not gonna throw shade but this does feel like a stussy item except it's just kind of obnoxious and too much rush twill zip jacket these are pretty atrocious the black color is not as bad as the rest but definitely not gonna have profit drip thermal i'm not gonna make a drip joke about about this but it's definitely far from drip and the quality six panel these are gonna be a skip they're probably gonna be taxed so this week is skippable for a lot of people but one thing I like about this week is it feels like you could pull off a pretty fatty cart and actually get some decent items I'm talking an orange rib beanie glow-in-the-dark knife and air fresheners for the fuck of it you know and then two of these t-shirts like black double XL black XL like I said I might even get one for myself for the personal um, that'd be a pretty solid cart maybe even the duck down music beanie to get free shipping or if you want to be a big baller and try to invest this week this reversible puffer and brown specifically is the color i'm feeling maybe like an xl you could make some money off of it man i'm not gonna lie i do see some potential with it so yeah those are my call outs for the week let me know if you're gonna be going for anything i don't blame you if you don't but you'll see a live cop it's been your boy boon man i hope you guys enjoyed i'm out Peace.